Ever heard of a walking coral? All about walking dendros in this FinCast. We feed it with our seahorses, we feed it with our uh, um, flounder, um, any of our tropical reef fish, uh, our live re uh, coral reefs. Hi everybody, John here with another FinCast, and today I want to talk about walking dendros. It's a coral that I had never heard of before. I'd heard of dendros, but not walking dendros. And as it turns out, this is only something that's been around in the hobby since about 2009. They are not commonly available. And really, for in terms of their look in your aquarium, they're kind of expensive, between $50 and $60 if you Google around online a little bit. So, But this is one of the most interesting things, in my opinion, that you can put in your fish tank. And you know, when you think about your marine aquarium, it's a combination of the color, the interesting shapes of the fish, the way the fish have evolved, and, and, and how everything on the reef has its own little niche, and, and how Mother Nature has created some organisms that you couldn't possibly conceive of if you just sat down and tried to think about it. So you've got the color, you've got the fish, you've got the, uh, the rhythmic nature of the aquarium. It's why they're so beautiful to just sit and stare at for hours and hours on end. And you've got the cool factor. And today, the walking dendro that I want to talk about definitely adds to the cool factor. So I was down uh, at one of our wholesalers, and I want to thank Chris Klein with Carolina Aquatics for hooking me up with this walking dendro so I could talk about it in this FinCast. And it's been in my tank uh, for a couple of weeks now, and I found it to be really interesting. First thing you need to know is that the walking dendro is a coral that lives on top of uh, what looks like a shell, but it could be coral, but whatever it is, it's got a worm living in it with a hole on the bottom. Here's a closer look at that. Okay, here we're dipping the dendro. I want to show you the hole on the bottom. There it is right there. And that is where the worm lives. So what happens is you have the coral on top, you have the worm on the bottom, and the, wor the hole goes down, obviously, into the substrate, and the worm just moves the coral around as it goes around and feeds in your substrate. And I've read some accounts on the Internet where people will put food right next to the walking dendro, and the worm will immediately come out and move in the direction of that food so you can kind of make it do what you want. I put mine in my aquarium uh, the, on the very first night, and it moved like 14 inches. Last night it was right there, and you can see the path that it took. It went to the back, but I don't know where it is. So now every time I go look at my aquarium, I try to find out where the dendro is, and it's pretty easy because it leaves a path in the substrate wherever it goes, and I can see how far it moved and can kind of track it to where it is every day, and it seems to be doing very well with all the other corals in my aquarium. Now, by now you might be wondering, well, what happens if something happens to the worm? Will the coral survive? And the fact is uh, the coral will, in fact, survive. At that point, it doesn't have the mobility anymore, but you can put it wherever you want, and the coral will survive. What I'm reading about the coral itself is that it's somewhat photosynthetic, but it also likes to be target fed two to three times a week. So I'm really enjoying having this somewhat unusual organism in my aquarium, and it's just one more reason that uh, I find reefing so interesting and so engaging. And if you want to click around at fincasters.com or on my YouTube channel at fincasters, there's lots of, uh, lots of fincasts on other types of corals, other types of fish, both fresh and salt water, and also planted aquaria. So please do click around. Hopefully you'll find something you like. I kind of think of fincasters as a one-stop video version of what you used to be the old-fashioned magazines on paper. Remember when they had those, right? And they had topics all around uh, all around the uh, area of aquarium keeping? Well, that's kind of what FinCasters is. So please click around. I hope you'll find something that you like. In the meantime, I'll see you in the next FinCast.